Hello everybody, welcome back to another quick episode of Carving Fusion. This um this is cottonwood bark. It comes from a cottonwood tree called black cottonwood. So you guys can check and see if you got any black cottonwood trees in your neighborhood. This um I love carving bark. This comes from the States from a fellow called named uh, Nathan Bullock. I gave him permission for all you guys that aren't on Facebook or are on Facebook. We have a uh, ch uh, Dremel carving group called Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers Original. I'll leave a link to that below. I gave Nathan permission to sell this bark in the group. Um, I'm very picky about who, who can sell what and who can't sell what in the group, but um, I think it's a good, uh, I gave him permission because it's a good uh, opportunity for people in our group to get uh, the cottonwood bark at a good price. And even like he sent me a box before and I tested the bark before I even said he could sell it or not, but this is great bark. These these pieces, so he sent this box. I believe it, the price is $75 for these pieces. So this is two feet, okay? So you got three pieces, two feet. And whatever, say if this was piece was only like one foot, he fills the box jam-packed, okay? So like he even put this little piece of bark in there. I might carve a little owl out of something or something out of this. So it's all, it's all carvable bark, right? This piece is pretty thick. I'll just, I'll show you for my hand size. Okay. It's all, the back's all nice and clean. It's very clean bark. It's nice. It's soft bark to carve too. It's a bit more orangey than the bark that I carve, but you guys, I'm going to do a couple carvings. I'm going to carve a wood spirit. I'll just do time lapse on this one. And then I'm going to do a uh, owl on maybe this piece or this piece. So it's not going to be a carving video. It's just going to show you guys uh, how nice this bark is, right? So you guys, if you're in the group, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers Original, I called, uh, I just changed the name to Original because somebody started another group called World of Wood Carvers or something like that a month after I started my uh, the group in uh, Facebook. So it's like, come on, buddy, think of something more original. But anyways... Let's uh, get carving this, and I'll tell you guys what I think of this bark. I already know it's awesome. It's super soft. Just carve Rob. He got some from um, Sean Brooks, and just carve Rob a piece. He loves it. And uh, hi, studio on the lake, Ben. So let's just get carving this bark. Okay, before I start carving this uh, wood spirit and a little owl on this, I just want to say that um, I know Nathan pretty good now. We've chat chatted lots online. I've never met him in person, but he's very trustworthy, and he's loyal. And um, I'll leave it his email below, okay? If you guys aren't on Facebook, I'll, you can email him. Or if you're in the, the group, just send him a message in the group, okay? Because I let him make posts when he get, gets new bark for sale. He does sell smaller boxes too. So, but like you guys can see, this is very, it's, it's nice stuff, okay? So what I do before I start carving, I clean up, uh, let's start the wood spirit first. I clean up all the outside of where, I, cause so, so if I want to carve the wood spirit from here to here, I'll clean this all up with my Fordham or a grinder or whatever. Get all this gray stuff off. Because remember guys, this isn't wood, this is bark. But you can see this stuff can be shaly. Like you see those cracks there? So you, you want to get that, you want to get that, see those pieces just came off? You want to get this stuff off first. And when you clean up the outside on this side and this side, then you can see the true cracks. You can think if the cracks go all the way through or not. This stuff looks pretty consistent, but I'll clean it up and I'll come back and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so that's what I mean. It's just like pretend this is a tree branch or something like that. Clean the bark off first of the area that you know you're going to carve, like I did right here, because then you can see what's inside, what's underneath it. So we'll pretend this gray stuff was the bark on this bark, so I cleaned it off. Now look, no cracks, beautiful stuff. Okay, I'm not a car salesman. If this wasn't, if this, if this turns out to be not good bark, I'm gonna say that the, the video, I'm gonna say this bark's crap. Don't buy it. Okay, so here's the owl. So I'm gonna carve like a, leave this all natural. Then I'm gonna carve like I'm gonna try and carve a fat, silly little owl today. Yeah. So it's all gonna be time lapse. This isn't a carving video. It's just a video showing you a, a good way to get this bark. Okay. So wood spirit and owl. Okay, just to show you guys before I start carving, I'm using a Dremel 4000 with the Dremel flex shaft. 
and a Cutsole Extreme Flame Burr. This is my go-to burr. This one's a bit worn out. You guys want to get these Cutsoles, just go to the description below. Like, hit a little arrow and a whole menu will open up. You'll see the Cutsole site. Go there, use the code CFUSION, and uh, you'll save yourself 5%. But this is the Cutsole Extreme Flame Burr. Okay, zoom in. Son of a... Okay, so there you go. That guy's done. It's got some cool colors in this bark. I don't know if you guys can see the different colors in it, but uh, super nice uh, uh, bark to carve. Holds detail nice if you can see his eyebrow hairs there. So we're going to finish these, this one off with Mod Podge because hopefully it will uh, make the colors pop a bit. Carve this silly little owl on this thing. I'm not going to film, but let's I'll just uh, yeah get her done. Yep. Carry on. Alrighty then, so I kind of got carried away. Here's that googly-eyed owl. Here's the first one I did in the middle. Second little guy with a piece of bark. And last one on the left. Who says wood spirit need eyes? They don't. They do not need eyes. Okay, that's my opinion. I think they look just as cool without them. So, I don't know if you guys can see the color differences in this bark, but it's very beautiful bark. I Actually, look at the forehead there and the outside there. See the color differences? Um, yeah, I. this is nice stuff. I got to sound that a bit more right there. But this is super nice bark. And you guys know, um, I don't make anything when he sells this bark. I just do it to help out the community and support support Nathan. So I think on this guy, I burnt it just a little bit to get some textures in there. I think I'm going to Mod Podge it. And um, the best way to get the colors to pop out of the wood is with oil, obviously. But I don't think I have any here, so I'm going to Mod Podge it. And um, we'll see if the colors pop after the Mod Podge is on it. I'm going to Mod Podge the owl too. Maybe that little guy. You don't have to finish your carvings, everybody. You don't have to. Like, like that one there. On the left. I don't need to finish it. It's fine just the way it is. And they weather awesome out outside too. So anyways, carry on Mod Podge time. I got this Mod Podge uh, Sean Brooks sent me. It's, uh, what is this? It's Mod Podge Matte. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, never mind. I found some of this uh, mineral oil. I'm going to put it on this, uh, this big one here to get the true colors of the, the bark to show. And I'll Mod Podge this one and the owl. Okay, so there you go. Now we'll just wait around for a couple hours for this Mod Podge to dry. Who knows? I put it on thick, so maybe even tomorrow. Anyways, carry on. Okay, so here you go. This one is oiled, and this one is oiled. This is Mod Podge, and this is Mod Podge. So you can see how the oil made it, um, made the colors pop a lot more. I like these uh, wood spirits like this with the kind of faces going the opposite direction. But this is really nice uh, bark to carve. It's very consistent. It holds detail awesome. Like you can see, silly little owl. Yeah, it's, it's uh, actually lovely bark to carve. This is Modge Podge. This is Modge Podge too. 
So I suggest anybody that wants to uh, try a wood carve and get yourself some cottonwood bark. I'll leave all Nathan's uh, information below. I'll leave his email address. Um, I'll leave his email address and I'll leave a link to our Facebook group, Carving Fusion World of Woodcarvers Original. And you can get a hold of Nathan, Nathan in the group. So I hope you're all good. Um, thanks for tuning in. I got to carve a lot more cottonwood bark to get ready for Christmas sales. Because people aren't looking for bigger carvings for outside now. They're looking for smaller ones for gifts. So do you, if you guys can think of any ideas what you'd like to see me carve for videos. Or like uh, if you want to see me carve a wood spirit and focus on a certain thing. None of these have eyes. Okay, I could have done eyes, but whatever. I'll do eyes next time. So if you guys can think of any ideas. If you want to see me do tutorials on kind of owls or whatever you want. You know, I'll do it. I don't care. It's all about having fun. That's the bottom line. Just like this flying pig and Jordy worm. You know, just have fun. That's the most important thing. Carving Fusion. Over and out. One more thing for the, all the very beginners. With this mineral oil, if I use an oil, this is the type of oil I, I like to use. Uh, one of the earlier um, friends in the group, uh, Phil Grope. He lives in Langley, close to me. I've met him a few times. He introduced me to this stuff. And you guys can just buy this stuff at uh, your local hardware, your local drugstore, okay? Mineral oil, you can get lighter, heavy stuff. This is the lighter stuff. And it goes, this is like 10 bucks for this, but it goes a long way. Carry on, carry on.